Hey, what's up everybody? Once again, my name is DJ Stevens from Krav Maga CDK. Today we're talking about defenses against a stick. In this case, it's a baseball bat. Let's talk about the advantages first of the stick. One of the advantages is the distance. He does not have to get really close to me to strike me. The distance is a big advantage of the stick. Another advantage is the fact that it's a blunt object. If he hits me with a blunt object, it'll probably do more damage than if he hit me with if it's his own hand or leg or arm. So those are two advantages. Let's talk about the disadvantages. One of the disadvantages is the opposite of one of the advantages, of course, and that is the fact that if I'm really close to him, it's hard for him to hit me with the stick, right? It's hard for him to hit me with the stick because I'm so close. Another one of the advantages, if he swings and he misses, it takes a, a while for him to, um, to uh, get into a, uh, the position to throw a, another attack. So those are two disadvantages, and we also have two advantages. So what our, our, our defense is going to do is try to address those immediate dangers. Now, the first thing I want to do, if I, if I have room to get away and run and stuff like that, I will. But I don't want to turn my back to him. I don't want to give him um, any opportunity to strike me or hurt me more. So in this case, I'm going to close the distance. I'm going to use the fact that he has to wind the stick up to get power. At that point, I'm going to come in and close the distance. Now, just in case I'm late, and Krav Maga will be always uh, trained so that if we're late, the defense also works. So I'm going to make what we call a wall of defense. I'm going to create a wall here so if he swings from my body, it ends up hitting my arm making sure that my elbow is not out because if it hits my elbow is going to be bad for me so my elbow is going to be in my thumb is going to be up my shoulder is also going to be up so if it if goes to my chin it'll hit my shoulder and of course my hand will be up so if it goes to my head it'll hit my hand now of course i don't want to get hit at all i surely don't want to get hit with a bat with my hand here but it's surely better than getting getting hit with anything without anything so that's going to be my wall of defense Let's talk about me bursting in. I'm trying to burst into the swinging side shoulder. I want to get close to the shoulder as possible. If I can break the shoulder off, so be it. So I'm going to burst in and get close to the shoulder. Now, I don't want him to swing again. So if he rewinds, then I have to do the whole thing all over again. So I want to do two things. I want to control him. I want to attack him. So swing, all right, boom. I want you to try to be correct, please. Now, I want to be, uh, uh, notice I reached out and I grabbed the arm, making it hard for him to recoil. The same time I do that, I'm going in for my attack. Go ahead, swing, please. <clears throat> From here, I start my combatives. I beat, I beat, I beat. Now, I can go for some fancy takeaways, but I prefer, if I can, and there's no other person around, to try to beat the stick out of him. A lot of things can go wrong when you're going for the takeaway. I'll do the takeaway in another video. Another case scenario is he swings and he misses. Now I have time to come in again and close the distance. So we know about closing the distance. Let's talk about the wall of defense. In this case, I, I, I created a wall of defense. My hand is here. I'm going for his tricep and in in his arm, stopping the second swing. You can swing. Now, from here, I have to quickly try to get control of the swinging arm. I don't have as much control here, but I, I can go to my combatives faster. I grab the arm. I'm standing out so you can see me, but I grab the arm and I immediately go into my defenses. Boom, boom. Now, on this side, I need to do a takeaway, and here's why. Swing this. From here, he can switch hands real fast. 
okay? And now I have to go all the way over here to try to do another takeaway. So I need to do a takeaway real fast. Talk about the takeaway. So boom, I'm coming in. Boom, I need to get control over the weapon. Once I have control over the weapon, I'm making kind of a circle motion. Hold it tight. I'm making a circle motion to take it away. I can also use my knee to help. Once I get the weapon, I can use it if I have to and do whatever I have to do to go home safe. That is our stick defense or a, a defense against our ba a baseball bat swing at Krav Maga CDK.